Okay, so here we are. This is eating your feed, eating, eat, eating. This is eating your feed. My name is Nikki. My best friend is Andrew. No, it's not, it's Adam. <laughs> and today he's challenging me to make a chocolate crepe cake. I am a big fan of crepes, so not to toot my own horn, I'm pretty good at making crepes. I've never made a crepe cake, but a crepe cake is a lot of crepes. You essentially just start piling them on top of each other with some whipped cream in between, and then you kind of clean up the edges, you top it with like a chocolate ganache, and I finish it off. I think I can do this. In case I can't do this, my friend Rie is here. Tasty producer, chef extraordinaire. You and I have actually gone to eat crepe cakes together. I don't remember the what? moment. We went to brunch. Were you there? Oh. I was there. <laughs> I haven't made chocolate crepes, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna sub out some flour for some cocoa powder. Yeah. Uh, making the batter. Take one. Okay, um, I have my things. I'm usually a big fan of whole milk because I love fat. But for crepes, you want to go skim. What was I saying? I'm using a recipe that I have used in the past. It's from worldofcrepes.com. So first thing I'm going to do is melt some butter. I wonder who invented putting the tablespoons on the stick of butter wrapping. Because I bet you before that it was a real pain in the ass. I hope you're rich. One cup flour, half a cup cocoa powder. You don't want to have a full amount of flour and add cocoa powder because that's too many dry ingredients. I'm gonna go three tablespoons sugar and a pinch of salt. Yum, two and a half cups of milk. What's the date today? I'm assuming if it's bad, I will smell it. Okay, so we are one day past on this milk. Oh God, you're drinking it. It's not bad. All right, well, four eggs. Oh yeah. So I'm mixing the eggs and the milk together, and then we're gonna slowly incorporate it into our dry ingredients. All right, here we go. It's like you're being fancy. I'm not trying to be fancy. I have a broken pinky and I can't get egg juice on it. Feels good. Get it all incorporated. At this point, it's kind of important to like assess if it's wet enough. Like if your batter's too thick right now, you can just add a little bit more milk. I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know why. It has something to do with gluten, but it's a thing you should do because it's good for the batter. And then just before I use it, I'm gonna strain all of it so that it's not lumpy. Well rested batter. I'm gonna strain it now. No lumps. Nice and smooth. Yay. So flipping crepes can be difficult because they're so thin. I'm gonna use this to like lift up the edges and then I pretty much just use my fingers to just flip it because it's the easiest thing. I'm gonna butter the pan so the batter doesn't stick. So the thing with crepes is you want them thin. So you put in a little bit of batter and then you kinda gotta like maneuver it so it covers the whole bottom of the pan. So it's like a nice thin layer. Yeah, that's not hot enough, that's not hot enough. The inside's cooking faster than the outside. <laughs> Hope the batter is okay. This is not my usual experience. It's too wet on the outside. I'm pretty good at making crepes. I have made crepes a bunch of times before. This never happens to me. I wonder if I did something wrong with the powder. No, I need to flip it. Oh, this is difficult. I'm gonna try again. There we go. This is messy, but it definitely looks better already. Okay, so it just wasn't hot enough. It might be the cocoa powder. I no longer feel great about this. Come on. This is too hot to grab. <sighs> See? Definitely made improvements. Not like super delicious. A little. All right, I gotta do this faster. Ha, ah, mother fudger. I gotta work on my f flip. Ouchie mama. <sighs> I wonder if my batter's too thick. Okay, I'm gonna try thinning out the batter and I got new milk, so this 
is not one day expired, no. Oh, I think my pan is getting really hot now, too. I don't know how they did it in the video. Can we call re -8? A few things. Okay. These are my first few. Okay. I thinned out the batter with some milk. I'm having a really hard time flipping. I feel like first, you know, two or three crepes. This is it's five, a practice. Six. <laughs> yeah, butter is good. Yeah. Right? I also used the wider spatula when I flip. See? <laughs> Did you put <clears throat> butter? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. You didn't? Mm -mm. You just went straight in? Yeah. Should I do that? <laughs> Maybe. I've made crepes before, Rie. Do you have a picture? I can call my wife, she can tell you. <coughs> Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm just gonna ask you a question and you just have to answer honestly, okay? <laughs> okay. Am I good at making crepes? Are you good at making crepes? Yeah, crepes. Yeah, you're so good at making crepes. They taste just like they did when we were in Paris. Okay. I believe in you. This next one, you're gonna do it. Thank you. So maybe it's a batter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rie is failing also, something's wrong. I probably failed in making the batter. I think more flour. Less cocoa powder. Less, less cocoa powder. Yeah, let's use my recipe. Or should we do four cups and let? You have to like overdo it and then. Yeah, yeah. I was doing, I did that, or I did do that earlier. Your recipe has it so that you combine all the dry ingredients, mm -hmm. then eggs, it's like chocolate pizza dough, and then melted butter. Half cup of milk at the time. I want to use wire whisk. It's sturdier, so it makes well, especially if something like this, like really thick. Okay, what if this doesn't work? Look at how lumpy this is. Chunky. That's why we strain. Chunky. It won't <laughs> strain because it's so chunky. I think it wasn't mixed well. What? So much dough left, look. I know, I mixed it. <laughs> Let's mix one more time. I think it's less chunky now. Yeah, better, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cover it up. 30 minutes. Let's see if this works. Oh dear. Doesn't this look thick? It looks like a I didn't mean to do that. I'm keeping that. I'm gonna show that to Rie. Okay, test one. I laid it on pretty thick. Rie said that was okay since we're making a cake. Prep number one. 19 to go. Hey. I think I can handle making more than one at a time, and I think Rie will be really impressed with me. Hot. Second cup top. Oh, they all look roughly the same size. Cooking crepes two at a time. Oh. Ow, hot. <gasps> Third cook top. I think I can do it. Three crepes. Three crepes at a time. Walking. Hi! Look what I'm doing! Yay! It's working! Like three of them. Three. Last one, last one. Yeah. You did it. You did it. Cake assembly. Now that I have, I think, I guess I never counted them. One. So we have 26 crepes. I'm gonna start by whipping cream. We want stiff peaks, but we don't want butter. I think that's good, right? Crepe number one. I got an ice cream scoop so that I'm measuring how much cream I'm putting on top of each one so it's as even as possible. Feel good about that. Okay, crepe number two. Oh, I gotta lay this down. This is gonna take forever. To remember the edges. This is gonna take a long time. I thought the hard part was over. And then like 20 something more to go. It's already doming. Yeah, I think it's already doming too, Adam. 
Man, those like fancy bakeries. Who do they have do this? If someone makes you a crepe cake, don't take it for granted. It took them all day. I'm out of cream, so this one is the last one on top. It's very nice. That's it, I have 20. I'm gonna put this in the fridge while I make my ganache so that the cream can cool and it'll be more firm when I pour hot chocolate all over it. Ba -ba -da. Uh, now I'm gonna make the ganache, but I need Rie's help because apparently she has a secret tip for me. Oh, look, it's my friends, hi friends. Ganache. Heat up two things of cream. Cream. More cream. What does ganache mean? Okay. Thank you, my mother. Cream watch, 2018. Have you cut yourself cutting chocolate before? Oh. We're adding some sugar to the cream for the ganache, but not too much since there's sugar in the cream. Um, so pour, pour it until it covers it down yeah. to 30. Thirty. Okay, thirty seconds. Time to mix. Pasta. After you add milk, it stays shiny and nice. You have to do like little by little. Look! Hey! Hey! Clean out the edges. How do I do that? Like guide and just cut. Wow, this is. I could just ruin it all. Yeah. This is gonna be really messy. Oh, that's such a thick layer. Oh yeah, look at that cover the edges. This is gonna be so chocolatey. Wow, that's such a thick layer of chocolate. Andrew's clapping. I don't think Andrew ever claps for me. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yes. Yes. There's so much. <laughs> Look at these layers! I think they're pretty good, nice and even, not too domed. 20 crepes. <laughs> gonna fall apart. Oh. I'll change the bit. Don't look at those! Look at that! <laughs> It looks like a big s'more. Wow, it's really soft. What's the fairy tale where the uh, sleeping on all the mattresses and there's like a pea under it? The princess and the pea? I don't know, something about all the layers reminds me of all those mattresses. <laughs> Is there a pea Where's the pea? Tree? There's <laughs> Excuse me? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, my fingertips are pretty much burnt. This was worth it. I got 20 crepes. It's pretty even. It's not doming too much. The ganache is nice and shiny. These layers are so satisfying. It's really tasty. It will probably take you most of your day to make it if you'd like to make it. But I'd like whip this out for like a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Brunch. <laughs> if you make this for brunch, I will remember you. Oh, that's what it takes. Not even this whole experience today. I have to make it again for you. Yeah. Great. Oh, yes.